Young Ferrand, Oil on Canvas. Artists seek the truth when painting. And um, in portraiture, there needs to be love. However difficult, however distant, one has to find that and uh, use it. Otherwise, it's something else. It's not what art is about. And young Farrant for me was almost in his mid-twenties. It's when I became acquainted soon after he'd been ensconced in a coal bunker in Archway Road. My feelings toward him were fairly neutral. I was more interested in what he was about. Having contacted his local newspaper with a story, I quickly became aware of all the dimensions and felt at that time and the time that followed that I knew him as well as anyone could certainly a lot better than the people consulted by Jerry Callan uh, for this uh, so-called historical documentary because of the Hungit Vampire the people consulted, I don't know if all or any will be putting in there for Pennyworth, but I imagine most will. I didn't know him at all, even the two that actually met him. Uh, one only, uh, incidentally, and uh, as and when Farrant himself determined, the other a strange relationship really where she played the part of a carer in his final years in fact she only knew him in his very very last few years as did the other one the rest who've been approached by Callahan and Mighty well be making a contribution to this documentary, uh, didn't know him at all, never met him, and uh, I'm not sure they even communicated with him properly. He uh, felt out of contempt for them, I think, and rightly so, as it would transpire. I felt it was right to end my series of posthumous portraits on a picture of Ferrant when he was young, well, in his early mid twenties, and um, reveal that truth, which is for me, both sad and at the same time a little disturbing. The picture is dark, not because he was in a coal bunker particularly where, the, where it was dark, he only had candles or because 
it is at night, which invariably most of the time it was. Um, but because only in the dark can we look for and find light. So with that in mind, I put brush to canvas and um, try to reveal the truth and with a degree of affection and feeling. And that's the way I think the subject should be treated. When Jerry Callan contacted me, it was quite clear that the project was going to focus on the negative aspects, especially the negative aspects where Farrant and I are concerned, which is sad because it wasn't all negative. It seldom is. And uh, with good reason, I wouldn't have entertained the project even if I hadn't, as I did, um, retired from broadcast uh, television and radio all those years ago, a decade ago, or more. And concentrating on the dark aspect doesn't permit the light through and there was some light I'd like to think but the tale is a tragedian tale And I would have dearly loved it to be otherwise, but truth is what truth is, and the only way I can deal with it is in art, perhaps even music. There's no point writing about it, because the literary aspect is in the past. One can't revise what remains in the past. Finally, I would like to say that I harbour, or harboured, for he is now deceased, no ill feelings toward Farrant. I do have a degree of sadness where he is concerned, but I would add that I do harbour some ill feeling toward the likes of Hogg, McWilliams, and Della, whom I believe Jerry Gallaghan has approached. There might be others. Because these parasitical people are not interested in what is true, what is real, what isn't. They are interested in remaining on the coattails of those even when they're dead 
who might provide for them a free ride. As is quite apparent, I'm not willing to do that, not even for Jerry Callahan, toward whom I feel a certain degree of disdain. And uh, no empathy whatsoever. I did suggest that he extricate me entirely from his project, it can be done, and make it about David Ferrand. Uh, not a difficult thing to do. It would be a different project, yes, but is he saying there's not enough material to make something exclusively about Ferrant interesting or worthy of their effort. I think he is. But as the deadline draws ever close and we are literally a couple of days from when they start filming or editing together or whatever it is they do, uh, I appeal to him this one last time to remove me in entirety from his curse of a documentary. And by all means, make it about Ferrand. Whose posthumous portrait is before you, the last of a series. In conclusion, I know who I am. And I know who they are. And in that knowledge, I am secure that they serve darkness and are all liars. And these are the people, Jerry Callahan has invited to traduce me with their obscene calumny and diabolical machinations.
I need to know that I remain constant on the right-hand path, which is the path of the disciple. And I therefore expect to be attacked. And I know who my attackers are. As do they. <laughs>